Lars Enerson here with a quick update from Israel. Yesterday was a fantastic breakthrough in answer to prayer. Israel was able to rescue the first of the hostages in Gaza from one of the tunnels. It was a Muslim Arab Bedouin from uh, Rahat in southern Israel. And this is a great victory in answer to prayer. I want to encourage you to continue to pray now for the hostages in Gaza, that God will continue to do miracles and save many of them. In fact, all of them. Hamas has said no now 19 times to different mediation uh, proposals to, for a ceasefire in exchange for uh, uh, the hostages in Gaza, they are not interested in a ceasefire. In fact, the leader, uh, Yahya Sinwar, his desire is for there to be a major war against Israel based on this attack that they did on October 7. So we cannot uh, expect there to be breakthrough in the negotiations. The only thing we can do is to pray now that Israel will continue to be successful in delivering the uh, to bring deliverance to the hostages in Gaza. Uh, I want to read from Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 3. Remember those who are in prison as though in prison with them and those who are mistreated since you also are in the body. This is exactly what is happening to the hostages in Gaza. They are suffering terribly and we need to pray now for them just as if we ourselves were in prison. So let us intensify the prayers for the hostages in Gaza. I also want to read from Acts chapter 12 and verse 5 what happened when Peter was um, taken into prison and uh, in order to be executed. It says in verse 5, so Peter was kept in prison but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. God did a miracle because of intense prayer by the church in Jerusalem when Paul, Peter was in prison. That's what we are going to also do now for all those hostages in Gaza. God is the same. He is able to send his angels to deliver them. We need to pray that uh, there will be those that can help Israel to find the hostages. But uh, continue the prayers. Thank you so much for standing with us. This is just a quick update. We thank God for the answers to prayer so far. Thank God that Israel was able to avert and preempt the major attack from Hezbollah uh, this week on, on Sunday of this week. So God is hearing our prayers, friends. God is fighting for Israel and we need to continue our prayers. God bless you. Shalom from Israel.